I've never grieved for Simon yet. I, 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 I say to Simon, I look at his photograph every day and I say, Simon, I'm going to fight for you. I'm never going to get justice. But if we can save somebody else's life by having this fatal accident inquiry, I feel like I've done something. I've got to do something for the boys. I can't just, I can't just put a full stop and end it. No, it's broken my heart. Absolutely broken my heart. I didn't get my justice in the first place. And I know this having a fatal accident in quiet isn't getting justice, but it's, it's looking after everybody else now and everybody else's future. This could have all been stopped and it wasn't. They just carried on and carried on. Things have got to be put in law and businesses have got to realise that they just can't get away with it. If you did listen, if you'd reported and said, don't put them ashes, take them where they're supposed to go, then it wouldn't have happened. And, I, and, and as a mum, you're never going to think that you've got justice and no fine, no jail sentence would ever be enough. But it just went from bad to worse. I've never known such a pain. Never, and it never goes away. It's day in, even three, nearly three and a half years later, the pain's just as hard as it were on day one.